I first heard about Stephen Ting when I was in seminary. There is a wall of Episcopal heroes who preach the gospel and Stephen Ting is there front and center. And so when I came to St. George's, it was always a dream to serve at his church. Uh, he served as the rector of this church for over 30 years and uh, preached grace Sunday after Sunday. Historically, the Episcopal Church is a Reformed Protestant Church, and he really emphasized those great doctrines through his preaching. And that preaching led to a revival in this city, both not only spiritually, but um, socially as well. And St. George's Church, as a result, became one of the great centers of the abolitionist movement, the temperist movement. And Stephen Ting actually was one of Abraham Lincoln's spiritual directors. The lectures are about Stephen Ting in that they uh, encapsulate his spirit. These uh, lectures give us the opportunity to be reminded of why the great doctrines of the Protestant Reformation still matter today and how they apply to our lives today. This year we have speaking one of the leading systematic theologians not only in the country but the world, uh, the Reverend Dr. Kevin Van Hoosier. He's going to have a series of lectures on why the Protestant Reformation and these great truths still matter. Everyone should come to these lectures, whether you're into theology or not, because you'll get the opportunity to hear one of the great Christian minds today. On October 20th at 7 o'clock, Dr. Van Hoosier is going to give a lecture on the comic possibility of the Reformation, how this event occurred and took place, and what were the chances of the whole thing. Immediately following that lecture, we're going to have great music inspired by the Reformation, led by our music director at St. George's Church, Alex Wynn. Then on Saturday morning, we're all going to hear Dr. Van Hoosier speak on why the Reformation still matters and recovering the solace, followed by a question and answer period. And then, because no Reformation Day party is complete, without a bratwurst dinner, because nothing says you're justified by grace alone, through faith alone, and Christ alone, than eating a lot of bratwurst. <laughs>